Cross is teaming up with the National Red Cross Societies in Malawi, Mozambique and Zimbabwe to help register and search for missing persons in cyclone-affected areas. Let's get more on this story now and we are joined in our Pretoria studios by Marie Astrid Blondio. She is the Protection Coordinator at the Southern Africa International Community of the Red Cross. And Marie Astrid, thank you very much indeed, as always, for your time. So typically, after such disasters such as a cyclone Idai, people People are often desperate uh, you know, to want to know where their loved ones are. You are saying you have a solution to this. What is it? Yes, we are offering a unique uh, service to people in the diaspora, in the migrant communities, but also in the field, in Beira uh, and the surroundings and uh, in the other uh, areas affected by the cyclone. So we've uh, developed this uh, specific uh, website, uh, familylinks.icrc.org, where people can register to say, I'm alive, I'm safe and well, or I'm searching for my missing friend, my missing relative, can you help me? And we have volunteers in the field registering also those people if they don't have any access to a phone or to internet. So it's yeah. part of the services that we are offering to those distressed people who need to uh, reconnect with their loved ones. Well, this is the thing as well, isn't it? Obviously, connectivity will be a problem in many of the affected areas. How can people circumvent this challenge? Uh, we, we are still, we have uh, trained a team of volunteers uh, going to those uh, communities that have been cut off from the rest of the world and uh, they managed to uh, register with a pen, with a paper, all those people who still want to reach uh, their uh, families and uh, their friends and then we get those registration and uh, we put them on the, on the website. So we still manage uh, to get the work outside uh, those areas uh, to the, the distressed families who can go to the website and uh, search the list of survivors. Maria Astrid, so you have teams in all three affected areas, Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe, you say. Uh, what has been the response so far? Have people registered already? Yes, for the moment, if you go to the website, you can see that we have 300 active cases, but we have been able to close many more cases of people who have told us, yes, I have reconnected uh, with my loved one. So it's, uh, it's very successful and uh, we hope to be able to help more and more people in the coming days. And it's only part of the services that we offer to restore the family links. We have also volunteers going with phones, uh, offering free calls uh, to, uh, to people or offering uh, to charge their phones so that they can call themselves. Mm -hmm. We are also registering uh, unaccompanied minors, children uh, who have uh, lost uh, the, the contact with their parents. Uh, you are indeed offering a very, very important uh, service here. Maria Street, does this kind of website have a proven track record? Have you used it before, this concept before? Yes, uh, the, the International Red Cross, the ICRC, has a long history of creating uh, such websites after disaster. Uh, for example, after the earthquake in Haiti, or the uh, hurricane in the States, or the tsunami in Japan, where thousands of people have benefited from our unique service. Give us the, all the relevant details with regards to this website and also some of the numbers that people can use in order to get in contact with your team on the ground. Yes, uh, if you are in, the, in South Africa, you can either go directly to the website and register or you can also call a volunteer from the South African Red Cross. We are all cooperating. Her name is Coralie and you can reach her on plus two seven eight three six three three one six four zero. It's, uh, it works very well. She's there waiting for your call. That's great. Maria Astrid, uh, so if you go on to familylinks.icrc.org, uh, I'm just on this website now, and there you go, there's the website. You can see uh, the links, the various links there. And so if you go into one of these links, uh, it gives you options like a list of missing persons or person um, who have 
reported that they are live. You also got an option in terms of register yourself as in uh, quotes, I am alive or registered uh, uh, register a missing person. So indeed, very, very helpful, uh, this website, basically for people who have lost contact with their loved ones. Uh, that is WHTTPS uh, colon forward slash forward slash family links dot icrc dot org and uh, this website will be of great help to you if you in this particular situation marie astrid blondio protection coordinator southern africa international committee of the red cross we thank you very much indeed for your time be well thank you very much thank you very much okay we're going to take a